what are good resources for people who've never really explored kink mm -hmm. to go get resourced to start bringing kink or exploring with kink in your relationships. Hi, I'm Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com and this is... Stella Harris from stellaharris.net. And we had a previous video when we were answering this question, like how do you start to, to get or bring kink into a relationship that had, hadn't been kinky previously. Uh, and then we started getting into resources and so we're just gonna shoot a whole video right now about resources and answer that question in more depth. Yeah, so what are absolutely. some, you already talked about um, going to stellaharris.net uh, and then clicking on the resources mm -hmm. for the yes, no, maybe list and, and just explain to folks what a yes, no, maybe list is. Right. So it's just a list of general activities. It can start with something like kissing and holding hands, go the, all the way through to um, anal sex, oral sex, kinky activities like bondage, spanking, flogging, that sort of thing. And it lets you just think about it. You take a moment, take some time with it, think does that sound good to me? And you decide, yes, I absolutely want that. No, I definitely don't want that. Or maybe, maybe with the right person, maybe in the right circumstances, maybe if I learn more about it, you can fill it out, a partner can fill it out, and then you can match your answers and you've got a place to go from there. So that can just be a place to start if you don't even know where to start. There are some books that I love. Um, Tristan Taramino's Ultimate Guide to Kink, Jay Wiseman's SM 101, and Shauna Germain's As Kinky As You Wanna Be, uh, which is a book that I'm included in. All of those totally different perspectives, lots of um, snippets about different forms of kink, and all of them have portions on safety, uh, which is the one of the main things that I, I suggest people figure out. Um, kink can be a lot of fun. Some of it can potentially be dangerous, so you just always want to make sure you're not doing anything beyond your skill set. Things like bondage, they can go wrong, so you just want to make sure that you know what you're doing and you're doing it safely before you get in over your head and someone gets hurt in a not fun way. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing I'll, I'll add in, if you're into stuff or think you're into stuff and you know like you don't have the skill set yet, like tying people up and, and, and suspending them or thing, things that can go, where things can go horribly wrong very quickly and you can hurt people, um, as you start finding those skill sets and taking workshops, mm -hmm. hanging out with people who've been doing these things for a long time, like, like learning... Um, the proper way to do things so you don't get hurt. Because um, I've met some people who are just really impatient and like, no, I want to be doing it now. <laughs> um, one of the things that we forget is like dirty talking yeah. and fantasy. Like while you're doing, you know, your, you know, whatever sex you're having that is safe and at your skill set level. Mm -hmm. um, and you can spice up your vanilla sex mm -hmm. by talking about the, I'm going to tie you up. And I'm gonna, mm -hmm. you know, hang you from, you know, the beam in our bedroom, and, yeah. you know, and then I'm gonna use the vibrator on you, and all these other things. Like, there's a way to still include the kinky stuff that you don't have the skill sets right. yet for, um, and and explore and really play with. Um, mm -hmm. You know, is that hot for you, honey? Uh, and and how to include those things. So so don't forget about dirty talk and just fantasizing with each other. Um, and mm -hmm. you know, for, for us old fashioned people, like yes. maybe even writing a little dirty story for Absolutely. your partner. Yeah, I talk to people a lot about that when we're doing fantasy exploration in classes or with clients. Sometimes people are into things that are impractical or would always be insane, unsafe. Like, or where do you actually get a real unicorn? I mean, impossible. So incorporating it in dirty talk or reading dirty stories to each other mm -hmm. about the thing, watching porn together about the thing. There's a lot of ways you can incorporate it that are totally safe. Mm -hmm. All right, and where do people find you again? StellaHarris.net. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Leave your comments. What are some resources that you like or things that you're trying to learn and want to get good at? Leave comments. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. N no, no, really, like... <laughs>